autonomous air station meets our technology requirements, we will review your application and pay out that 50% of the cost. We've seen about uh, 400 stations come in for rebates, um, provided all of those rebates um, over the past few years, as I mentioned, and our total amount rebated is just over a million dollars at this point. Those stations are going in in a very diverse set of locations. Um, we see retailers who are putting them in, municipalities who are putting them in in their public parking lots downtown, um, municipalities ranging from the size of the city of Chicago uh, down to some of the smaller rural areas uh, in southern Illinois um, across the state. It's a statewide program. We also see a lot of universities and colleges who are interested in providing electric vehicle infrastructure as uh, a resource for their students as well as an amenity for faculty and staff. We see a lot of uh, commercial businesses who are putting them in and charging in, uh, in parking lots so that their uh, employees can do charging during the day while they're at work. And um, even uh, condo buildings who are putting in charging stations in shared parking garages for uh, access to valet parking or personal parking spaces. It's really become, uh, I would say, an amenity in many cases because of the issue that John discussed with the cost of, of power being relatively low, especially in Illinois, and the fact that the business model for charging stations hasn't been very successful when operators have tried to charge individuals a, a fee for using the station. We see a lot more business models growing now that are using charging stations to attract customers, employees, tenants, um, to get people to park in that space because they want to use the electric vehicle charging station. The other rebate program that we have here in Illinois is for the vehicles themselves. And this is operated by Illinois EPA. It's a rebate up to $4,000 of the cost of the vehicle. Um, it's actually not just for electric vehicles, but there are other alternate fuel types of vehicles that are included in this rebate program of, uh, as well. And again, it's a cash rebate. So you purchase your vehicle. Uh, it has to be a purchase rather than a lease. It has to be registered here in Illinois. Uh, but assuming that's the case, you turn in the paperwork and you get a check in the mail uh, in about the following six months. It can take a little bit less time than that, but it's generally about a six month turnaround. I also wanted to talk a little bit about a policy issue that we've had uh, ongoing for the past year through our Public Utility Commission, the Illinois Commerce Commission. They are now uh, opening or have opened a certification process for any contractors who do electric vehicle charging station installations. Um, so that applies to any level of charging station and it can be any portion of that installation process as well as the repair and the maintenance of the station. The Commerce Commission is requiring that those contractors who do that work apply for certification. Um, they have to be qualified by having done either five prior installations or having done a certain uh, level of apprenticeship or training program certified by the Department of Labor. If they meet those qualifications, they will be certified and then their name is going to appear on a website. Um, we actually don't have any on the website yet, but we know of few that have been certified so far, and, and Brian's company, Continental Electric, is one of them. Um, perhaps not as much of an of a, uh, economic incentive, but at least something that we do see vehicle drivers paying attention to is a discount on your registration fee with the Illinois Secretary of State's office. So normally, a one-year license plate renewal fee is $101. With, you, with your electric vehicle, assuming it's a battery electric vehicle or an all electric vehicle, that fee is only $35 for two years. So it is a savings. Also gives you the fancy plate with the EV logo on it and uh, some recognition for your decision to drive an EV. Um, lastly, I'll, I'll just mention we're, we're trying to promote certain standards across the state that make it easier for EV drivers to operate their vehicles and one of those is consistent signage. So our Department of Transportation has had approval from the Federal Highway Administration to adopt this symbol. Uh, it looks kind of like the same symbol you would see for an E85 station, if you're familiar with that. There are a lot of those on the highway already. 
but you'll start to see these electric vehicle charging station signs out on the highway directing drivers to sites where they can plug in and charge their electric vehicles. I'll just wrap up there. This is a final photo of Governor Quinn standing with the Nissan LEAF when it was rolled out here in Illinois. A lot of the car manufacturers are rolling out their EVs on the coasts because those are seen as hotbeds for electric vehicle adoption. But actually, due to Illinois' efforts to put in electric vehicle infrastructure, Nissan decided to accelerate the rollout of their LEAF here in the Chicago area and then eventually statewide in Illinois. So we were celebrating that at the time. Governor Quinn was speaking at the uh, Field Museum downtown. That's our site for all of the information I shared today, um, in particular applications for our rebate program for electric vehicles, and I can point you to other programs I discussed <coughs> as well, IllinoisEnergy.org slash EV. And I uh, would encourage you all to take a look. Um, I'd be happy to answer questions too if you're interested in electric vehicle charging stations. I think for the panel, we'll save questions to the end. Yes, look forward to your questions.